Hello, my name is Dr. Fredis Garcia, and I'm an assistant professor of neurology here at the Carrick Institute. Today I want to shoot this quick video and teach you three things that I wish I had learned earlier in my chiropractic career, because when I learned them, it made me a much more effective clinician. So let's talk back pain. Let's say a patient comes in with chronic low back pain, and maybe you're the third doctor they've been to. You do your workup, you do your physical examination and your neurological examination, and one of the things you find is that they have a unilateral peripheral vestibular disorder. Now, no other doctor maybe addressed this. So what does that look like? The patient may have said that they're a little unsteady, but they're not dizzy. In certain positions of testing, they actually may even sway to one side more than the other. Now, during palpation, because of that vestibular disorder, you may feel more hypertonicity on one side of their spine versus the other. Now, when you find something like this, it gives you the opportunity to help the patient two ways, with a bottom-up approach. You could help them with your adjustments, and you could help them with a top-down approach when you help to regulate their peripheral vestibular system. By having this model, you don't have to scratch your head trying to figure out why their back pain keeps coming back. What about neck pain? Neck pain is another common complaint of the patients that come see us. Now, the neurology that I wish I'd known sooner when it comes to neck pain is that our eyes are intimately connected to the muscles in our neck. You can actually feel this. If you take your fingers and slide them under your occiput and don't move your neck, but only move your eyes left and right, you're gonna feel something amazing. You're actually gonna feel the muscles in your neck activating. Now, that connection between our eyes and our neck are so intimate that sometimes if we have eye movement dysfunction, it will actually cause neck dysfunction. But then it's chicken or the egg. Which one caused which? So I'm trained to look at both my patient's eyes and the neck. I really enjoy getting to the root of my patient's problems and understanding how the neck works and what influence the neck is a big help to do that. So let's talk migraines. Head and migraine pain is another common condition that patients come to see us for. Now I get it. Sometimes that patient walks in, you adjust them and voila, you save the day. But sometimes the patients are a bit more complex. I wish every single patient that had a migraine, I wish it was cervicogenic in origin. It would be so easy. But those, for those complex cases, I've learned that migraines are greatly influenced by the autonomic nervous system. So when they're complex, I've been trained to examine their neurology, their autonomic nervous system, and the systems that influence it. For those patients, I can give them a receptor-based rehab strategy and knock their migraine pain out of the park. Having this bottom-up and top-down approach to solving migraines is amazing. I hope these examples excite you about what is possible when you start integrating chiropractic neurology into your practice. Later this year, the Care Institute is bringing receptor-based essentials to your area. RBE, a four-day program, serves as the fastest way to start learning and implementing clinical neuroscience in your practice. RBE is hands-on, it's fast-paced, and best of all, it's gonna elevate you as a clinician so you can serve more patients than ever before. We hope to see you there.